Like many others, Americans are considering relocating to less expensive nations overseas in order to extend their retirement funds. As a result, to just a few, Chile, Portugal, Romania, and Thailand are among the most affordable places to retire. Although these may be good nations for foreigners to retire to, Guatemala is now a popular choice. Living in Guatemala has a lot of benefits and drawbacks. This country in Central America has several advantages for residing, including as beautiful weather, affordable housing, and hospitable residents. The nation is home to a sizable expat community, and there are many organizations and associations to keep them occupied and social. One of the drawbacks of living in Guatemala is that although basic medical procedures and trips to the doctor can be cheap, many surgeries and treatments are not. Potential retirees are advised by expats to keep their Medicare coverage active since they may require it. In addition, outside of Guatemala City, medical care varies in quality. In addition, Guatemala City's cost of living is comparatively high in comparison to other regions of the nation. In today's video, we will talk about the 12 best places to retire in Guatemala. So, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos we upload. Number 12, San Marcos, La Laguna. Guatemala's San Marcos, La Laguna community is located near the shores of Lake Atitlan. San Marcos, La Laguna's natural beauty, holistic wellness, and laid-back vibe have earned it a spot on our list of the finest retirement destinations in Guatemala. The lake and the hills in the area provide the ideal setting for seniors to live in this village. In addition, it is a center for holistic wellness, well known for its yoga, meditation, and wellness retreats. There are many different recreational options, such hiking, kayaking, and nature walks. To get better in Spanish, retirees might also sign up for a language school. In San Marcos, La Laguna, a retired foreigner living alone can make less than $1,000 per month. Number 11, Ciudad Vieja. Although Ciudad Vieja might not be your first choice for retirement, there are a lot of reasons why you should consider making it your home. For example, the historical ruins and colonial architecture of this Guatemalan town provided a distinct historical charm. Due of its tiny size, retirees can unwind and have a carefree existence here. Closer-knit communities are another benefit of small towns, and Ciudad Vieja's citizens enjoy just that. The town's beautiful surroundings and proximity to the Agua, Fuego, and Acatenango volcanoes make it a great place to retire. Periodically, there are local markets and cultural events that provide inhabitants with opportunities to interact and learn about other cultures. The cost of living in a small town is typically lower than that of a larger city, making them cheaper overall. Number 10. Flores. One of the best retirement destinations in Guatemala is Flores, which is tucked away on an island in Lake Paten Itza. This mountainous, rainforest-covered island is perfect for retirees seeking a tranquil, peaceful living. Seniors enjoy taking boat rides on Lake Paten to see the gorgeous landscape and a range of avian species, including kingfishers, cormorants, and herons. Living in Flores also allows one to explore Tikal, an ancient Mayan city that is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. For people who enjoy learning about history and culture, exploring Mayan ruins and discovering its legacy can be enjoyable activities. There is no shortage of options when it comes to restaurants, both foreign and local. The town is generally tidy and full of buildings with vibrant paint jobs. For superior healthcare and contemporary facilities, retirees frequently travel to larger cities. A single foreigner may make ends meet here for under $1,000 per month, as the monthly rent for a one-bedroom apartment is about $500. Number 9. Rio Dulce. Guatemala's burgeoning retirement destination is Rio Dulce, also known as Sweetwater. The Rio Dulce River meanders through this town and is surrounded by breathtaking scenery, including lush woods and tropical vistas. The river and Lake Isabel are ideal locations for outdoor pursuits, including boating, fishing, kayaking, and so forth. The year-round warmth of this tropical climate is another reason why retirees adore it. 
sailors and boaters love coming here because hundreds of catamaran, yachts, and houseboats are permanently tied at the marinas. There are also a few yoga studios, wellness facilities, and other peaceful options in the town. Additionally, there is a rising expat community drawn to the area. Living expenses are less than the national average. Number eight, Quetzaltenango. There is a lot of vitality and life in Quetzaltenango, which is also frequently referred to as Zila. A significant number of retirees are drawn to the area because of its extensive cultural legacy, which includes a distinctive fusion of Mayan and world culture. Keeping expats occupied is the responsibility of the tiny but active expatriate community, which arranges social events and activities. A climate that is temperate and mild is provided to the city as a result of its placement on the Western Highlands. Additionally, there is a wide variety of amenities available, including cafes, restaurants, shops, and other forms of entertainment of all kinds. A one-bedroom apartment costs less than $200 per month, which indicates that a laid-back lifestyle is very well manageable here for less than $500 to $700 per month. On the other hand, an expat should set aside $1,250 on average in order to live a more comfortable life, respectively. Number seven, Santa Cruz La Laguna. Situated on the beaches of Lake Atitlan, Santa Cruz La Laguna provides an amazing view of the surrounding volcanoes and the lake. This town is favored by retirees because of its serene atmosphere, breathtaking scenery, and distinctive fusion of natural and cultural components. They get the opportunity to take in the tranquil surroundings that come with having lakeside views of the water, but the only way to get here is via boat. Wellness-conscious retirees might think about living in this wellness-focused community, which has many meditation and wellness centers, yoga retreats, and related programs. A bonus is the authentic Guatemalan food, which is also available at neighborhood cafes and restaurants by the lake. In conclusion, retiring to Santa Cruz La Laguna might be a tranquil endeavor. Number six, San Juan La Laguna. When retirees pick San Juan La Laguna as their place of residence, they are afforded the opportunity to take part in a one-of-a-kind and culturally abundant experience. San Juan is a city that is brimming with vibrant hues and diverse artwork, and it is sometimes referred to as the Chocolate Village of Guatemala. The town's vibrant murals are a beautiful representation of the local culture and highlight imaginative presentations. Because of the tight-knit nature of the community in this area, retirees are able to quickly feel at ease and at home. Based on the Lake Atitlan average of $1,250 per month for a single retiree living here, the cost of living is an accurate representation of the area. Number five, San Pedro La Laguna. Situated on the southwest bank of Lake Atitlan is the Guatemalan town of San Pedro La Laguna. Because of its affordable prices, burgeoning expat community, and exciting nightlife, it is one of the greatest places in Guatemala to retire. Retirees take in the breathtaking views of the neighboring volcanoes and lakes from the comfort of their cozy houses. There are lots of outdoor pursuits to partake in, such as kayaking, hiking, swimming, and bird watching. Residents of the town are able to experience the traditional culture that goes along with being a traditional Mayan village. In addition, it is less expensive than other locations. The average monthly cost of living is $1,250, of which $500 is spent on rent for a one-bedroom apartment. Number four, Santiago Atitlan. Because Santiago Atitlan provides such a one-of-a-kind experience, a large number of individuals are choosing to retire there. The charming town is most well-known among retirees due to the fact that it offers a variety of recreational activities, breathtaking views, and a rich cultural heritage. Retirement in this area is a pleasant experience because of the close-knit community and the breathtaking views of the lake and the volcano. In addition, Throughout the course of the year, a great number of cultural events, festivals, and ceremonies are held. Additionally, seniors take pleasure in going on boat rides on the lake, going on nature walks, and exploring the sceneries that are located nearby. 
based on the Lake Atitlan average of $1,250 per month for a single retiree living here, the cost of living is an accurate representation of the area. Number three, Panajakel. The town of Panajakel, which is also referred to as Pana, is another well-known retirement destination in Guatemala. Retirees in the town, which is located on the southwest bank of Lake Atitlan, take pleasure in a lakefront lifestyle, scenic vistas, the opportunity to participate in water-based activities, and the opportunity to explore the breathtaking scenery. The town is gradually gaining momentum, and the population of expatriates is becoming more diversified as time goes on. In this location, you can participate in a wide range of outdoor activities, including birdwatching, hiking, and kayaking. There are a great number of local markets and businesses where one can purchase local goods, including textiles, food, and other items. This town has a climate that is considered to be mild, with a beautiful one-bedroom apartment costing somewhere between $200 and $400. A single individual can live on $1,000 that is sufficient for their needs. Number two, Guatemala City. The city of Guatemala is considered to be among the top retirement destinations in Guatemala for a variety of reasons. Numerous urban amenities, including shopping complexes, museums, theaters, and other cultural attractions can be found in this metropolis, which serves as both the capital and the largest city in the country. A significant number of seniors opt to reside in this area since the medical facilities are significantly more up-to-date and of higher quality than those found in rural locations. This city is becoming increasingly attractive to seniors as a result of the expanding expatriate community. In comparison to the cost of living in other cities and towns, the cost of living in this location is relatively cheap in comparison to that of other Western nations. It is possible for an apartment in the city to cost anywhere from $50,000 to $200,000. It is also possible for a single individual to survive on a monthly income of $1,050, including rent. Number one, Antigua. Antigua is a well-liked retirement location for individuals worldwide. Cobblestone alleys, beautifully maintained Spanish Baroque-influenced architecture, and other interesting remains may be seen at this UNESCO World Heritage Site. Retirement travelers are drawn to Antigua not only by its alluring historical significance, but also by its rich cultural legacy. There are many marketplaces, galleries, and museums to explore in Antigua, which offers a fusion of Spanish and indigenous influences. A budget of $1,250 is thought to be adequate for a single retiree residing in Antigua to pay for rent, groceries, and other utilities and costs. Additionally, luxury homes range in price from $700,000 to $1.5 million. Together with chic cafes, international restaurants, and other regional eateries, the city has a thriving food scene. There are pleasant locales to talk to and language courses for people who might encounter communication difficulties. This brings us to the end of this video. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time. Until then, happy retirement.